2023. Well, good afternoon. We continue to bring you special Election Day coverage as Mississippians cast their votes across the state. The clock is ticking to cast your ballot. We're counting down until the polls close at 7 tonight. Statewide, voters are choosing their next governor. Both Tate Reeves and Brandon Presley cast their votes this morning. 16 WAPT Scott Simmons joins us live in Flowood, where the governor will be watching the election results tonight. Scott? Yeah, they're currently setting up the Sher Sheraton in Flowood here for the campaign to take in the returns. They restarted the campaign trail early this morning before moving over to a State Street polling location to cast his ballot. He chuckled as he entered the polling booth area when asked who he was voting for for governor. Uh, then he took some questions from the media afterwards. He continued that theme of being in a battle not only against Brandon Presley, but the National Democratic Party. And he addressed what has been a volatile governor's race. Gosh, I'm through, man. Don't worry about me. It's a moving room. Look, here's the reality. We've never seen a race like this in Mississippi. This is not some local yokel Democrat running for governor of Mississippi. This is someone that was recruited by the Democrat National Committee. He decided to farm out his entire campaign to the political operatives of the Democrat Governors Association and the Democrat National Committee and of Joe Biden's administration. And so in essence, uh, when, when he decided to do that, and they told him, look, if you do it, we'll give you $10 million to run. He spent over $12 million. 80% of his money has come from California, New York, or Washington, D.C. And in fact, more than $20 million spent by both candidates in this governor's race. The governor doing some campaigning this afternoon, appearing on radio, and of course, working the polling locations, and then will come here to take in the returns where a lot of people will be anxious, of course, to see how the numbers come in on this very busy election day. Live in Flowood, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News. All right, Scott, thanks a lot. Well, Presley has spent a lot of time in the Metro, but cast his ballot in his hometown of Nettleton. The day started with Presley and his wife, Caitlin, making their way to the polling place to cast their ballots. After that, Presley hopped in the car where he's crisscrossing the state today, still pushing to get every vote that he can get. According to an itinerary, Presley is making stops in Columbus, South Haven, DeSoto County, and Gulfport to hold canvas kickoffs with supporters who are enthusiastic about the possibility of Mississippi electing a Democrat for governor for the first time in two decades. We feel ecstatic, but we're not going to quit working until the buzzer goes off at 7 o'clock. So while we feel good about where things are right now and the momentum and the energy behind our campaign, we're not going to stop working until the last very minute of this race. This is about voter turnout. This is about folks coming out to vote. And so we're not going to uh, we're not going to cede an inch to Tate Reeves. No matter what good numbers we get early or good indicators we get early, we're going to work our hearts out and our fingers to the bone until the last second of this election. Well, Presley is expected to make an appearance at Stamp Super Burgers to talk about votes this to talk, talk votes this afternoon. He's also going to watch for results this evening here in Jackson. There are reports of some polling places running into some snags when it comes to ballots. 16 WAPT's Brooklyn Joyner joins us live from Clinton with more details. Brooklyn. Yes, Troy, um, it's very packed out here. If you take a look behind me, the line is out the door here at Wildwood Church in Clinton. The polling manager said for about 30 minutes they ran out of voting ballots, but a voter in line I talked to said they didn't have any ballots for about two hours. The polling manager said this voting site is a split precinct with two types of ballots for voters and they ran out of the style one ballots. She said the election commissioner did not print out enough style one ballots, but eventually she was able to bring in some more. Almost 3,000 voters are registered here, and they now have enough bolus, ballots to make sure you are able to vote, so don't let that stop you. The polling president said they don't expect to run into this problem again, so make sure you come out. Uh, Brooklyn Joyner reporting from Clinton, 16 WAPT News. All right, Brooklyn, thank you. Well, we have been seeing a fair amount of voters at precincts in Jackson today. Chastain Middle School packed this morning. The parking lot full. 
The lines were long, too. The poll manager said more than 2,000 people are registered at that polling location. The scene a bit hectic earlier. A Hines County election commissioner said two precincts came together to vote at that location, leading to those long lines. Some voters had to cast paper ballots and only had access to one processing machine because that was all they were sent by the election systems and software company. Well, we talked about the governor's race, but another big state office to fill in this general election is lieutenant governor. Republican incumbent Delbert Hoseman is taking on Democratic challenger D. Ryan Grover. Hoseman says during his four years as Mississippi's lieutenant governor, his office has helped cut taxes and paid off the state's debt, as well as increased teacher pay. Clearly, the state's in the best financial condition it's ever been in uh, after this last four years. We have our rainy day fund is full and we're lowering taxes and we're paying off debt and we're not mortgaging the future of our children. And so what we're doing, I think, will end up lasting for not just one election period, but really for decades. Day one, I will be working on getting the ballot initiative restored. If I can get everybody back into the Capitol building and try to get the ballot initiative restored, then that will give back the freedom and the First Amendment rights to Mississippians. It's been taken away. Uh, Delbert Hoseman hasn't been able to restore the ballot initiative. Um, Grover said that he feels like Hoseman's office didn't do enough and he could do a better job. He also says he wants our state to become technically competitive with the rest of the world.